In this video, you will learn how to use GeoGebra to bisect a given line segment. On the drawing pad is line segment AB, the line segment we will be bisecting. Select the Circle with Center Through Point tool from the Circle toolbar and click on point A. This creates a circle centered at point A and attaches the circumference of the circle to the cursor. Click on a point along line segment AB at least half the distance to point B from point A. This creates point C and circle C. Next, we need to create a circle with the same radius as circle C, but centered at point B. Select the compass tool from the circle toolbar. Click first on point C, then on point A. This creates a circle with the same radius as circle C attached to the cursor. Click on point B and circle D is placed on the drawing pad, centered at point B. Notice the two points where circles C and D intersect. Select the New Point tool from the Point toolbar. To create points at the intersections of the circle, move the mouse cursor over the upper intersection of circles C and D. When both circles C and D are highlighted, Click the mouse. This creates point D. Repeat this action for the lower intersection to create point E. Now select the Segment Between Two Points tool from the Line toolbar. Click first on point D, then on point E. This creates line segment DE, labeled as lowercase b. Line segment DE bisects line segment AB. To understand why this is true, use the Segment Between Two Points tool to create line segments AD, DB, BE, and EA. Since AD, DB, BE, and EA are radii of circles that were created using the same compass width, AD, DB, BE, and EA are congruent. Since quadrilateral ADBE has four congruent sides, ADBE is a rhombus. AB and DE are diagonals of the rhombus. Since the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other, DE bisects AB. Select the New Point tool and create a point at the intersection of line segments AB and DE. This point, F, is a midpoint of AB and is also a midpoint of DE. The diagonals of a rhombus are also perpendicular. Therefore, DE is a perpendicular bisector of AB. Because GeoGebra is dynamic, we can see what happens when we adjust various elements of the construction. Moving points A and B adjusts the length of line segment AB, as well as the radii of circles C and D, and the length of line segment DE. Moving point C adjusts the radii of circles C and D. Observe the drawing pad as point C moves closer to point A. If point C moves to less than half the distance between points A and B, then circles C and D will no longer intersect. This is why it is important that point C was placed in its initial position. Click on the yellow arrow in the upper right hand corner to undo the previous action, and point C moves to its previous location.